But I think that part of what's going on there is we're struggling with how to tap into that fathering yeah. part of our heart. What's up, guys? Jeff and Jeremy here. Another episode of Five Minute Fatherhood. Today's a fun little thought we want to throw out. I'm going to throw it out and see what Jeremy thinks, and we can kind of riff off there. And so today's tool or tip or thought that we want to kind of go off of is to father is a verb. So Jeremy, what do you mean by that? It's not an, I mean, it could be a noun, maybe it's not all these things, but you're saying it's a verb also. What do you mean by that? I, I love that. Yeah, guys. So I think it's important to figure out what's going on in your heart when you are spending time with your children. And I like the fact that we've made the word father into a verb. When you're with your kids, you're fathering your kids. Um, we, we say that um, pretty easily in our culture. Um, but I, I think this also brings up and can really help us understand that it's possible something else, other things could be going on in your heart. And this is one of the things that I've noticed for a lot of dads, especially for new dads, this is something that can be really challenging. And that is for them to make sure that as they are spending time with their kids, what's happening is that they are fathering them um, as opposed to brothering them or friending them, right? Um, and so the, the idea here, you guys, is that when you're a new father, you are very familiar with other identities. Maybe yeah. you've been a brother, uh, and so you're used to what that's like, and so you might cross-apply that to your kids. Or you're, you're used to being a friend, and so you're like, I just want to friend my kids. I don't want to father my kids. Um, and fathering, uh, and what I'm describing in this verb, is it really is coming from a particular place in your heart that is completely unique to the... Uh, the feeling and the experience of being their father. And for a lot of people in our culture, a lot of men, we actually resist this. We don't want to feel like we're fathering. We even have a lot of language in our culture that says this is bad. We we have like words like, don't patronize me, which a lot <laughs> of times it means don't, don't like treat me like you are somehow above me. <laughs> and yeah. so a lot of us have been We've really been saturated by ideas that say that if there's not complete equality in the way that we're approaching one another, then there's something wrong with the way that we're treating the other person. Yeah. Um, and by equality, I don't mean that we're of different value, but in terms of like, you're their father, and so you know more than they do, and you have a lot of power over them, and you're, you need to lovingly lead them and guide them and protect them and provide for yeah. them. And that's really a, the fathering uh, verb. And this is a really big deal, you guys, not just for you as dads, but also for your children, because they can only experience their sonship, their daughterhood, to the extent that you are fathering them. And um, I would say probably the most common tension I see with young fathers in this area is that um, they oftentimes think about their children like toys, you know, and it's almost mm -hmm. like they're trying to play with them, yeah. um, which is great. You should definitely like enjoy your kids. But I think that part of what's going on there is we're struggling with how to tap into that fathering yeah. part of our heart and to let that identity, because it impl implicates us as an individual. We're afraid to let down whatever kind of shell we have around our heart that says that, you know, I don't really trust in uh, this area um, of my heart that says that, you know, you're, you're going to capture a part of me and turn me into something else. Yeah. Um, I was just reading the other day about a, a father who was just, you know, secretly writing online about how much he uh, regretted ever having children. And it was really, you know, tr a tragic thing. He said he'd never say that to his kids, but that's his experience as an individual. And I think that oftentimes this can happen because, because dads don't understand that when you have a child, they turn you into a different kind of person. They turn you into a father. And the way that you experience that and, and really completely um, accept that is that you have to open up your heart. And that's this process of choosing to father your kids, call them your son, call them your daughter. And this is oftentimes what I encourage, especially new dads to do when you have an infant. Oftentimes I can tell if a dad's struggling with this by the way that they treat their infants. Because the infants, when they're really, really, really young, when they're like in their first yeah. two or three months, they don't do in anything. They don't really respond hardly at all yet uh, to uh, interaction. They cry all the time. They're a lot of work. They sleep a ton. And so oftentimes fathers disconnect during that stage and when that's happening, I'm always concerned that what's going on is the the father is not allowing the kind of peace uh, of this stage where it requires just giving on their part yeah. um, to open and awaken this part of their heart to being a father and to fathering their their children. But yeah, Jeff, what does that stir up for you? 
Yeah, I mean, two quick thoughts I would say, which is interesting, is it's it's revealing to me because every and now that I think about it, every noun can be you can verbify it, but it's interesting right. to let yourself um, think about which ones we more naturally do that with, obviously, and which ones we don't, because then I think that reveals if we think it's a passive or an active thing. Does that make sense? So what I mean by that is like yeah, the the the, the antithesis, not the antithesis, the opposite side of that one that that was just funny is because we actually do use all the time as like mothering, right? Like we, I, I've never heard anyone yeah. say fathering. I hear mothering all the time, but it's the same thing. It's just the other side, right? Mm. So that's fascinating, right? That we're very okay right. with mothering. Yes, that's true. Right? We mother a lot as a verb, but fathering as a verb is weird. We see father as more just like this stature and this thing that you're supposed to like be stoic and stand right. or whatever rather than fathering. Um, and then the other one is, which with the word we use all the time is coaching, right? You can be a noun coach. You can be right. a coach, but that word actually almost always gets used in the verb way. Like you're coaching. You're co- yeah. you, when you're a coach, you're coaching. Yeah. Um, you almost verb. can't be a coach. Yeah. yeah. You almost can't be a coach unless you're coaching, <laughs> right? Yes. Like, you know, you can't be a father unless you're yeah. fathering. So I just think those, I just want to let, I, I'm not going to distill those a ton, but maybe just let those sit with people, um, as they go about their day today and they're listening to that episode is what would that man, what would it actually look like if fathering the verb became as normal to you as mothering and coaching is in our culture? 